What's up everybody, it's your boy SFMZA bringing you yet another video. In this video, I'm going to show you something that I'm attempting to do, so it's not proven yet. Um, I'm going to take you through it and hopefully it works out. So what I'm going to try and do is make a GIF in Canva using a sprite sheet. If that's confusing, I'm confused about it too, uh, mainly because this works in Photoshop, this works in Premiere Pro, but I don't know if Canva can 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 actually simulate it, so let's see. I downloaded a sprite sheet off of Google. You can simply just search sprite sheets on Google and download any of the sprite sheets that they have there. So I'm gonna I, I drag that out because I wanted to have the same size all throughout. Um, so yeah, I dragged it as far as I can. And what I want to do now is crop each one of these sprites out. So I'm gonna hit crop and then drag that. We wanna make it as even as possible, even though that's impossible. So just, yeah, try get an even block across for each one. And then you add the same sprite sheet again. Canva is gonna automatically add it with that size. So you now gonna crop out the first guy cause we've already got him. And then we want the second guy. Okay, got number two. Number three now. Crop again. Now that you get the gist of it, I'm just gonna do this in fast forward and then catch up with you guys after I'm done. Now that we've got all our GIFs cut out, well not GIFs, but all our images cut out like this, um, we want to now move them to a central place. Um, so I'm going to put that in the center there and then drag the second one, put it above. You want to put it as close as possible so zooming in helps sometimes. There we go. Make sure the hats match. There we go again, centered centered again and centered again and you repeat this until you've got all your images in that one spot okay we have all our images in the one spot we can go back to normal size so what we want to do is then grab them all together move them to the center like so and then you want to drag it. So Alt and drag it out. So that it's the same size, but big like that. So what we're going to do now is how many are here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we're going to add six more pages of the same thing. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. So we have seven pages because there's seven images. So you want to go to the first one now, delete the six. One, two, wait, click on it. That was one. This is two, three, four, five, six. Now you only have the first image there. And then you want to do one, two, three, four, five. Now, you're still going to have the last image there, so you want to control X that one, delete the first image, add that one back by con pressing control V. And then here we're going to delete one, two, three, four. That's the image we want, so control X, and then delete, delete, paste, control V. Right? See, different images. And then on here, we want to delete one, two, three. That's the image we want, X. And then delete the rest. And then Control V, paste it back. But that's the same image, wait, no, that's not the right one. So this is the image we want, X, and then delete. 
delete, delete, paste that one. Okay, same here. One, two. That's the one we want. Delete the rest. One, two, three, four. Paste the bad boy there. And then here we just delete the one, keep the one, delete everything else. And then here we keep the one, control X and delete the rest. We can just highlight it. Delete, control V and we've pasted the last one. So we now have a sequence of different images on each page, which is what we want. Um, now, in order to make this work, in Photoshop, you have it at um, is it 0 0.001 second, I think. Um, now, I don't know if we can get that on here, but we're going to try. Okay, it gives us 0 0.1 second. Apply this to all pages. Now, each page is 0 0.1 second so in order to make this work because canva doesn't recognize it as a video yet we want to animate so what we animating is uh, the page not the the animation itself so let me find one that works that isn't too much drift baseline Scrapbook, block, what's that? Apply to all pages, let's see. Now we're gonna click play. See that? There we go, you made it, what? This actually worked. What? This actually worked, yo. What? Look, look at this, this guy's walking. This guy's walking, now imagine you loop that multiple times how many times is he gonna walk bro bro like <laughs> yo i made a gym what that is so dope consider considering that this is from a still image this is so dope and like the applications now are like endless like imagine the type of things you can do with this i know it's pixelated but you can get like higher quality vectors i think and just do the same thing, replicate it. But this is so dope. Before I continue though, if you've made it this far in the video, please do subscribe. Uh, please do consider subscribing, hit that like button. And if you wanna be notified when I upload videos like this again, hit that bell notification next to the subscribe button. But anyway, let's get back into it. What? I can't believe I made a GIF in Canva and this was just an experiment, bro. <laughs> Yo, let's keep doing this. I love this. So, I would imagine then to make it last longer. Oh, wait, I can just download it now. Can I not? Then it plays infinitely. So, you click download and then we go to GIF. And uh, yes, all pages and download. Let's see what we get. Oh, I didn't name it. But remember to name your project. I'm going to name it afterwards. But yeah that's so dope what can't believe it anyway if you'd like to support me while this is downloading please check out the link in the description below check out my website listen to some of my music let me know what you think about my music if you like it let me know what you like about it if you don't like it let me know what you don't like about it so i can work on it if it's valid of course uh yeah let's play our gif Yo, I can't believe it, bruh. Can't believe it. This is crazy. Infinitely. In Canva. What? What are you telling me right now? What are you showing me, bruh? Damn! <laughs> anyway, I hope this has helped you. I hope I hope this genuinely helps you. It sparks some, some, some um, creativity of some sort. Yeah, let me know in the comments what you think about this. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you in the next video. I hope you see me in the next video because you're coming to watch. Um, yeah, again, stay making melodies. Peace.